The Business and Professional Women's Club is an international organization designed to empower and assist working women. Here in St. Kitts, BPW is celebrating its founding day today, mm. May 16th. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we have today with us, and we give them a warm welcome, Lynn Bass, the president-elect of BPW St. Kitts, and Christy, Doctor, excuse me, Dr. Christine Williams, <laughs> Walwyn, the Regional Event and Financial Manager of BPW North America and the Caribbean. Ladies, congratulations once again. And congratulations to you two on your 100th anniversary. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so the first question for you is, are there any celebratory activities that are taking place to commemorate Founding Day? Well, we started our celebrations yesterday. Oh, okay. We started by giving thanks. Amen. We, we um, worship at the Immaculate Conception Cathedral, the Catholic Church. Catholic. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, a group of us went um, to church yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then we went to um, Kittishan Hill for mm. lunch. Lovely. So we started on the weekend, yeah, yes. being a Sunday, with our celebrations. And then we're here today. Nice. Mm. Okay. Mm. And later we are also visiting a past member. Okay. To, um, she's the amputee. Okay. So we're going to carry good wishes and greetings to her. Okay. Sure, she's going to appreciate the visit. Can you yeah. share the name? Mrs. Sylvia Isaac. Okay. Oh, okay. A former nurse. A former nurse, yes. yeah, I know. Antonia's mommy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, ladies, tell us how has the organization grown since it was founded in 1975? Okay. Before 1975, it's an international organization. It was founded by Lena Madison Phillips okay. in 1919. That's in the USA. And then she ranch off and had, the, had other groups started in various parts of the world. Uh, it is now in the five continents, having over 100, in over 100 countries. Mm. In back to home here, we started in 1975. The founding member was Miss Pamela Wall, oh. she started it in St. Kitts. She's been here on the show. She today. has been. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it went dormant for a little while, and then in 2020, 2012, um, it was, we, we started again. And since that, we are going steady. That's nice. good stuff. Good stuff. Good. But were there any more activities, or, or it was that? You mean for today? In commemoration, no, in commemoration of today. That was it? That yes, was it, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Oh, just okay. Do outreach and... Um, no, okay. All right, yeah. good. So is there an overarching objective of BPW? We know it's designed for women, working women. What's the overarching objective? It's really for the empowerment For the women, empowerment women of women. Girls, you know, okay. Ladies, yes. Yes. Okay. And you know, through as we see advocacy, education. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, we have things. development sessions, mentoring young women and girls, as Christian said, women advocacy, fellowship and fundraising activities or assistance. Okay. So what's the last fundraising activity you have? Well, we usually have a monthly new to you sale where um, we sell cl mainly clothing um, that are um, not to use, um, fairly new clothing, sometimes new. We do it on a monthly basis. We started out um, selling um, um, working attire, work attire mm -hmm. because we felt that um, one should present themselves properly in the workplace. Mm -hmm. And we have branched off to other clothing for everybody in the family. Okay. So we have that at the last Saturday of every month. Okay. So we used to be um, in front of 
the ABC. Okay. But we are now in TDC parking lot okay. on Bank Street. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last Saturday of every month. Okay, so go on out and support the PW. From my case, just the um, the clothing are very, very nice clothing. Oh. You know, you heard it here first. Yes. <laughs> Some of us go shopping mm -hmm. and we pull things off the rack and then we get home. And you know, they can't fit. Yes. Okay. You know, that's my one of my. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do with it? We don't need it to be too that you. And our, our prices are very reason, reasonable. You can get suits for twenty, thirty dollars. Right. We and try not to have anything over fifty dollars. Right. Okay. okay. Look at that. So we, yes, we, mm -hmm. it's really an empowerment um, activity too because you know, you're helping young people getting into the working world. And, That's and getting very good. Living, that, that is very things, good. So if a woman like me wanted to join BPW, what, am, what are the requirements that I need to have? You need to be a woman who needs to be empowered. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not a, an elitist or socialist um, okay. organization. You just need to have an interest. Okay. You come to three meetings. Okay. And you show your interest. Okay. And there's an application um, process and we, we will be very happy to have you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Miss um, mm -hmm. Bass, you spoke to ad women's advocacy mm -hmm. a little while back. Um, can you expound on that a little bit for us? We feel that um, women should, uh, women should be in all sectors of society, including government. So we um, lobby for women's rights. Right now, we are working to have equal parity by the year 2030. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. What do you mean by that? <laughs> equal parity. Um, be on the same equal level with men, not um, you, you're doing the same work. Okay, and we you. should have different pay because I'm a woman. But once the work is satisfactory, both of us I should. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that BPW, um, <laughs> I'm not sure if the word, word is celebrate, but we acknowledge, is that it takes a woman an extra three months to get the same pay as a man. It does. Oh. Right. Interesting. So generally, throughout the world, um, a man works for one year and gets a salary. Mm -hmm. The woman has to work for one year and three months. To get that same salary. To get that same salary. Wow. Um, by nature, we just go in at a lower level, and we basically stay at a lower level. And some of us take time off for maternity leave or for childbearing and all the other things. So we are pushed back, and the, the man continues to go ahead. So in, in March, it's normally celebrated equal pay day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you would see some of us sometimes have a, a bag, a red purse, a red bag, um, that we use as a symbol for equal pay day. Okay. Um, it's celebrated in March in most of the Americas okay. and, and in Europe. But in some countries, some third world countries, it's actually celebrated in or acknowledged um, in, in September. Okay. So it's not just one year and three months, it's one year and nine months oh, wow. to get the same, the same um, pay. So ladies, can you expound on your roles and explain the differentiation amongst both of those roles? Okay, um, as I told you, it's a worldwide club okay. and we are separated into each continent is a region. We have the Euro European co continent, that's a region, the African, Asia and North, Asian and Pacific, South America, and then North America and the Caribbean. So each region is um, governed by a coordinator. Of, and in the, North, in the North America and the Caribbean, our coordinator is Ms. Dawn Williams. And it's a, Christine is her assistant. Okay. But they came from the local club, Sink is local club. So they're still a member of the Sink is local club. Okay. Okay. But they're also in charge of the region. Oh, okay. So they you are coordinate the region. Right. So you are with respect to the local. Yes. Sink it's mm -hmm. president elect and okay. And Christine, you're with the region assisting Don Williams. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what does your role entail? Okay. Um just we notice we're saying president-elect because we just had elections 
this past week. Cut my hat. <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, um, President Elect Bass will be officially um, installed um, okay. June, in, in June. Okay, good. Right? So she's, <laughs> and she'll go for the next year or two. Yes, yeah, so in all regions, North America and the Caribbean, um, Don, Don Williams is the coordinator or the president of the region, okay. which entails um, from Canada into North Canada, the United States, and throughout the, the Caribbean. First time someone from St. Kitts, of course, is, um, mm -hmm. is in that position. Wow, we are always taking um, leaps ahead, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And we, you know, we've come from 47 years ago, starting the club in St. Kitts, to get into this position. And so Dawn sits on the international board. Okay. Right. And um, her, assist, her assistant, and the, there's a regional committee of about um, seven persons, which I'm one, I'm the only person from St. Kitts, and then we have persons from throughout the, the region, from North America, from Canada, USA, and the other parts of the region. Okay. Um, we basically we coordinated the activities of our area, and we are very pleased to announce that next January, St. Kitts, BPW St. Kitts will be hosting the Conference of North America and the Caribbean. So you, we would have um, maybe two to three hundred women, empowered women, come to St. Kitts Nevis mm. for about a one week period. Mm. Congratulations again. I think that's a pom pom shake. <laughs> <laughs> Celebration. Yes. And uh, including the international president and the international committee. Okay. Our international president, Ms. Catherine Bosa, is from Switzerland. Oh. So we're quite excited to welcome her. And then the, the, um, the international committee basically is from all over the world. The first vice president is from Thailand. The second vice president is from, from um, it, Italy. Okay. And you know, if you go through the, the immediate past president, a man, is from, from Egypt. Egypt. Okay. Right. Ah. So they all will be coming to, um, and then there's a, a, a regional coordinator from each area. So they all will come to St. Kitts. Um, nice. And which is quite a biggie, a mm -hmm. biggie for us. And we were really happy and fortunate to have um, mm -hmm. gotten the nod to, um, to host the conference. Yes, yeah, so that is of good. Of course, we had to put, um, um, put a promotion together and we want to say thanks to the Ministry of Tourism um, who have come on board with us, uh, Marriott, the St. Marriott Resort, um, who's going to be hosting the country, the conference is going to be hosted there. And our Governor General has so graciously, um, I mean, he's, he has been a really big supporter for BPW. Mm -hmm. and he, he has hosted us before at our installation and he's already given us um, the nod that he will be hosting our welcome ceremony. That's um, great news. So, yes. great, yeah. so we're looking forward to showing, to bringing the world, the BBW world to St. Kitts. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you guys are going to make them feel very welcome, yeah. show them some of that Kittishan yes. hospitality. Yes. yes, indeed. Something exciting to look forward to. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And so over the next couple of months, we'll be back and forth, you know, getting the assistance of the general public. Mm -hmm. Um, St. Kitts and Nevis to help us welcome BPW, our BPW sisters. Yeah, yeah. so Aww, you heard it here first on <laughs> Good Morning <laughs> SKN. The 100th episode. 100th episode! <laughs> Where my voice want to go? <laughs> so, so in terms of um, your specific professions, how has BPW helped you? So give us a testimonial. Mm -hmm. Well, I am a rolling stone. I've moved <laughs> from one area to the next. I'm currently, and I'm, I'm a senior lecturer at CFBC, okay. and um, definitely in terms of um, public speaking and in public empowerment, I sh I'm sure most of St. Kitts News knows that I come from a tourism background. Yes. Um, my North American compact would think I come from a science background, so that's yeah. why I said, you know, I'm a rolling stone, and it, it's really, um, BBW is mm -hmm. really uh, an area that assists in not just networking, and we have mentors, as you can tell, all over the world, great networking activities for us, and it definitely helps um, with our empowerment and our um, development of people um, through, through, through the organization. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, Yes, well, 
BPW has helped me, one, maybe to get out a bit of my shyness. No. And I always have an urge to help people. And it's a club that go out and we do things in the community. We assist people and I enjoy doing that. And we, the public speaking, uh, we have sessions in public speaking. And it really helped me a lot to get out there and to speak about BPW and that we I to take part in activities. Okay. And we know one of the activities that was previously mentioned is the, the visit that is taking place um, to the, the former nurse. But tell us some of the other activities that are community oriented, because you mentioned going out there into the community. But just last weekend, Mother's Day, we assisted um, mothers. We, we gave her quite a few um, gift baskets mm. to um, young mothers in the community, both St. Kitts and Nevis. Yes. Um, so that was one of our um, community activities. Over the past year, of course, because of COVID, we were restricted in some of the things that we do. We normally have lots of um, fundraising um, in order to do our developmental um, activities, but they were limited. We haven't had a, we, I think we have a signature Two signature events, which was a yeah. soiree and uh, a tea party, yes. but we haven't been able to host it over the past two years because oh. of our limitations due to okay. COVID. But look out for us next year. We'll be coming back out and doing all the other things. Um, we do coaching sessions with young girls, um, high school girls, etc. We work very closely with the, the children home mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of physical infrastructure as well as um, developmental. Okay. Um, so we basically go out and look for persons who we need, who needs help along the way, um, emotionally, physically, etc. And that's what we're about. I've also been working amongst us okay. to help develop ourselves. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and one, the pro we have done two projects. One, um, we had a foot care clinic with senior citizens where we invite them and we had a um, professional come and Look at the, we had a doctor on board also okay. who looked at the feet and um, see if, any, if um, the circulation was okay and then they got pedicures and things like that. Oh, this so was nice. we partnered with Petra Newton. Okay. We did that. Okay. And we also did um, a wellness clinic. We did it twice and we hope we'll do it again. Okay. We, um, we partnered with the Ministry of Health where we had um, Cat, we cancer, cancer screening, ah, okay. um, we did blood pressure and diabetes, mm -hmm. and Rota was there at one time too who did eye testing. Mm -hmm. We even got an award in Egypt at our last congress for doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Well, what well, was important about change. that is that we did these sessions on a Saturday morning at the health centers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people who work during the day, the ladies who work at the factory who can't get off time, etc. Mm -hmm. Even though the, these um, tests are available in the health center free of cost during the week. They're not able to um, to access them. Mm. So we work with the Ministry of Health for them to open the health centers on Saturday mornings, and then we um, so that they can have the tests. And um, you know, of course, we provide for refreshments and all the other backup um, stuff. Mm. And um, that was really very good. Mm. And we got a lot of people tested. Of course, we didn't. We wouldn't follow up to see whether they were positive, negative. We leave that to the healthy right. officials. Yes. But just uh, providing access to that, um, that was really um, applauded by our peers. Yeah. And, that, mm -hmm. Yes. For the month, we had over 400 persons tested. Oh, oh that's that's, good. that's very commendable, but we mm -hmm. have to take a quick commercial break. And before we do that, though, you mentioned to join, there would be, you'd have to attend the three um, sessions, so. three meetings. Where can we find you online in case somebody would like more information about BPW before we go? BPW St. Kitts. Mm. We are on Facebook, on Instagram, and there's a website, BPW St. Kitts. Okay. 